never disrespect me. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect me. Pussy, don't ever disrespect me. You heard? You heard? You heard? This is Monster Freestyle. This is what we do. You heard? Yup. Squad yep. oh, cool. up. Squad out. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm gonna spit a bullshit freestyle. There's no written shit. Facts. The hood love me. Yup. <laughs> Say that. TLG. Matter of fact, this is a fucking, you heard TLG records. Yeah. Going out and shit. Talk to him. Yeah. Say Talk that. Talk to him. I'm nice with it. Yeah. I'm not like Nims and them. Niggas want to talk about me fucking and shit. Nigga, you fuck around, get hit with the full clip. Woo! Hey, yo. I'm not playing with this. We recording. Yup. Nims. Yup. The whole family. Facts. Stop yeah. talking bullshit before my team hit you with the squad up. Rat. Rat. Yup. How you doing, mom? What's uh. your name, mom? Uh. Look nice, mom. Uh. Hey. Asalaamu alaikum. Bubba. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like that shit. Uh, keep walking, we uh, keep stalking. Uh, Why you walking? We stalking. Uh, oh, uh, oh yeah, shit. Don't yeah. laugh at this shit. Freestyle shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm hyping shit. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm with the hood and shit. And shit. And shit. What the fuck is shit? What more can I say about this shit? And I shit. got the whole team, the whole squad with me and, and shit. shit. Yeah, you got it. Niggas would hit you and shit. And shit. <laughs> I'm laughing at this shit. Laughing. You know what I mean? I'm happy and shit. Happy. happy. Shit. We still here and shit. And Boy, shit. And shit. Talking to the camera and shit. To the camera. I'm talk to the camera and shit. All my fans and shit. Yeah. I'm Rod Dick and shit. Hey. No Yo. homo No homo and shit. Diddy. <laughs> No Diddy. Not with that Diddy shit. Hey, I'm that, awesome that. shit. Hey, shit. <laughs> shit. Oh, I got to get off this shit. Off oh, this shit. Oh, that was a good freestyle, y'all. This is, this to tell you, you <laughs> fuck around with this, oh, this will hit going? you with freestyle shit. Back. <laughs> Calling y'all and shit. Back. You see that shit. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Pop it up. Go. Pop it up. Yeah. Yeah. I see you. My God, see you later. See you later, my boy. Yo, your jacket, yeah. There you go, my love. I'm just getting hype and shit. You get hype yeah. and shit. Let's go and I'm shit. I'm on your hand and shit. Let's go and shit. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Worth a band and shit. Ooh. Yeah. Band and Got my shit. hand and shit. Uh. Fuck your Coney life Allen and your shit. man and shit. Oh. Coney Allen and shit. Oh. Yeah, we wildin' and shit. Oh. And we stylin' this shit. Woo! Oh. Ooh. Like that and shit. Oh shit. I'm mad fat and shit. Hey. Oh. Mad hats and shit. Hey. Oh. Like that and shit. Oh. Hey. That's toss and shit. Oh. We mosh and shit. Ah. Yeah. And we oh. mob this shit. Yeah. Mob. Your squad and shit. And squad. That CB and shit. And oh. Shit. You see me and shit. Woo. GG and shit. What? Uh. That's it and shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he got a nice haircut and shit. What? Yeah. Hey, yo, Papi, come back. Yeah. Welcome to Outside with Devil and them, the only podcast that don't apologize after we make a diss. Nothing. Uh -huh. Nothing. We got Paz Diaz, we got CB, we got Busy behind the motherfucking camera. We ain't clapping up for shit. You heard? <laughs> You see me in front of the world famous Fuck Your Life stores so clammy, 60 degrees. Hey, yo. You know what Daddy. I'm saying? I'm fat, so I'm a little sweaty. Pots a little cold. This girl got hand warmers. You know because what I'm I didn't get the memo. The Why? sun's not on this side. Because bitches is always cold. Wow. That's true. It could be a fucking Whoa. heat wave. That's true. And a female is always cold. They need blankets on fucking summer days. Always. Women are weird. No, we like oh, to we be a little, a little comfy. We cozy. love you, bitches. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. I need man. somebody to warm me up. What's goody? Hey. hey. Guys, hit a DM. You know what I'm saying? Guys. Yeah, hit a DM. Yeah. No, guys. no, 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 no. Yeah, guys, hit a no, DM. No, 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 no. If you look like a bitch, she'll love you. The ruse, I mean, I. The ruse is up. <laughs> <laughs> Might be true. The ruse Yo, is up. J. Cole, let Nas down. 
for a second time, bro. Facts. You know what I'm saying? They let me down too. I ain't gonna hold you. Yo, listen. His heart wasn't it. This is this is my my thesis. What are you fucking stopping after you already walked through? Yo, this is why Patreon is starting a new shit called Inside with Gorilla Nims. Cause outside is just too hectic sometimes. We can't really get the funniness and the You're too famous now, Papi. That, that we supposed to. Outside has always been cool and shit, but we need to go inside and shit to really get. Really get the, the shit. shit going. Shit. You know what I'm saying? And shit. But yo, J. Cole, bro, listen, I'm conflicted. There's two sides of me. There's the man part of me where I'm like, I understand. You, you let the people gas you up. Like, all right, you want to apologize? That was your man's. You don't want to go. Whatever. I right, bet. Boom. I get that. Like, yo, I'm, that shit, I can't sleep. I can't do none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I understand that. But then there's the artist side of me where in no way, shape, form, or fashion do you apologize after a diss record. Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> I could tell already that he wasn't into it from the that half-assed diss record he made because you can't make a diss rap, a diss song, and say my man in it. Like it, he said, yo, I don't want to do this to my man or some shit like that in in the in the seven minute drill record. Yep. When you go out to make a fucking diss song, you can't fucking say, fucking my man. Your man is now your enemy. Kendrick ain't call you his man when he said fuck the big three. It's just me. He wasn't on no friendly shit with that. So once once you make the decision to put a diss song out. All that friendship has to go out the window. Facts. Right? It cannot be uh, a friendly playing field. He clearly didn't give a fuck about your friendship <laughs> in that song. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? So once you go into it thinking he's still your man, you already lost. Right? Yeah. Now, the same thing that we said to Cannabis. Yo, Cannabis, yo, hold, when we had Cannabis, if you didn't see it, go check the Cannabis episode. Super dope. Salute to Cannabis. But one thing we said to Cannabis was, yo, you spent your whole career, right, saying how you eat MCs, how you're the nicest. And when it came to an actual battle, when you battled disaster, you froze up. You took the whole notepad shit. So that kind of takes away all the fly shit you said in your career. Mm -hmm. Right or wrong? Facts. Yeah. So I feel the same shit about Cole, like, yo, all that shit you talk about, you nicer than all the other MCs, <clears throat> you do this, you do that. When the time came for you to show your work, you completely didn't do it. I feel like you overthought. I feel like he just, he just didn't go into it like a regular shit. What's ill is like, it can't be an impulsive thing. He ain't say nothing like on Twitter. You recorded, you mixed. You mastered, you delivered it to DSP. This is like a multi-step process that you Fact. went through. So then it'd be like, oh my God, I wasn't thinking straight. Nah, you know what it was. And, and the illest part about this beef, my bad, was that everybody knew no, nothing bad was going to happen. Like, you took all the fun out of it. We know yeah. nobody's going to really get hurt with J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Like, Facts. y'all could have really put on a show and, and made it entertaining for the Drake fans. You know what I'm saying? them both right now. <laughs> <laughs> Drake should just take like, over. Yeah, they weak as right now. Like, oh yeah, throw. Nah, Kendrick ain't at his weakest. Yeah, Kendrick is I was sitting gonna say. back laughing. Kendrick. Yo, something about Kendrick. Everybody apologizes. J Electronica apologized. Lupe Fiasco apologized. Fucking um, there was somebody else that apologized. Like yo. Maybe there's more to it than we know. He makes these motherfuckers apologize. But I was also thinking, it's like. <laughs> maybe, look, Drake, maybe they have respect nice, for him. Nice, bro. Drake is from Canada. Cole is from wherever the fuck North, North Carolina. Carolina. Mm -hmm. When you're on a tour and you're doing, or you be outside, you don't have to go to North Carolina. Nice. You don't have to go to Cal uh, uh, Canada. But when, no matter what what type of artist you are, you got to go to L.A. You got to pick up the bag in you California. You got to go to L.A. That's one of the biggest markets as a music artist. 
Yep. So I don't know whether they scared that when they go to fucking LA. Check in or something. I don't know what it is, but I think J. Cole just, he thought the reaction was gonna be much better and it wasn't. That was a lackluster diss song. Mm -hmm. My opinion, Kendrick's discography is way better than, than Cole. Absolutely. The only Cole album I, and I fuck with J. Cole. His features, he bodies it. Musically, the only album I go back to on J. Cole is The Forest Hills Drive. Born Sinner, I don't listen to. For Your Eyes Only, I did not, I like maybe one song on there. The, the, the Dreamville, that's a compilation, that don't count. Um, what's the last shit he dropped? The recent one that he just dropped? Yeah, before that, with Cameron on it. Oh. This one got Cameron on it too, but there was another one. Oh, his discography don't stack up. Kendrick, Good Kid, Mad City, that's like this generation's fucking Illmatic. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pimp a Butterfly, when I first heard it, I didn't like it on first listen, but that's one of my favorite albums of the last 20 years. Word? I love that album. Wow. Really? I love that album. A lot of people felt like that when it first came out. I hated it when it first came out, but I also hated It's Dark and Hell is Hot by DMX when it first came out because it was so different. It's so fucking different that you're not ready for it. Like, after Good Kid, Mad City, you go into Pimp a Butterfly, if you're going into it expecting to hear Good Kid, Mad City continued, you're going to be totally disappointed, which I was. But once I got the expectations out, that's one of the, my, my favorite fucking albums. I love that album. Wow. It's a complete body of work. Damn, fire album. I wouldn't say it's like super classic. I think To Pimp a Butterfly is better than it. But that was fire. That Untitled Unmastered, that was, I didn't really fuck with that. Um, and that Mr. Morale shit, eh. It was very, it's a fucking deep listen. Like, you really gotta go deep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But other than that, like, his discography is better. So, you know, I feel like uh, Cole just didn't get the response he thought he was gonna get. But listen, in no way, shape, or form should you apologize. Take your shit off the You already admitting defeat. You already admitting defeat. You already said it wasn't like a motherfucking, uh, it was just like a jab. It wasn't like a, like a full diss. It was just like, you said, yo, this is just a warning shot. Should have left it as that, bro. Y'all yeah. listen to it? I, yeah, I feel like J. Cole's more of a lover than a fighter anyway. That's not really in his steez. The majority of his shit is not love songs. No, not love songs. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how coming out, I mean, coming against other rappers. Like, that's not so common on J. Cole to be doing. Nah, and I feel J. J. Cole be talking shit though. Yeah, I get it, but he's not like one of the most controversial, like coming out. And I feel like he knew that he took that L, so that's why he apologized. Yeah, keep going. I, I'm finished. I finished my sentence. <laughs> is what I'm saying. So if I'm quiet. Neither one of you can fucking con continue on the fucking podcast. Okay. Anyway, like I said, I, I feel like he just took that L. He said that he took it on the chin, right? Yeah. So I think that he's just giving him props, like, fuck, I lost. Like, I'm going to give you your props. I'm not even going to come at you anymore. I think it's pussy. You have anything to say on this situation? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this, we're on a podcast where we talk about things, bro. Yeah, I'm talking This is why you shouldn't be fucking smoking before you fucking go. Well, it's not the fucking smoking. I don't give a fuck about them arguing. They ain't going to do nothing anyway. Who gives a fuck? Fuck out of here, J. Cole. Put them in the ring. Let's see what they're gonna do. If you had to diss Nims in a rap battle, what would you what would you talk about? I don't know, I'm not a rapper. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Nah, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at fucking people moving slow motion in front of the fucking It's thing. a busy day today. We need the like fucking that. water guns back out here, bro. Hot, yeah. bro. Straight it's like the that. First night we need the water guns. Throw up some Everybody that rolls by slow, we gotta bring the water guns back out. Nah, you can't hit the old man. Nah, no nah that old man that walked by twice on the phone? Phone fast. Nah, he gotta get the water gun. Facts. He gotta get the water gun. Temper, Temper needs the water gun. Temper gotta it. get the water gun. He needs it. He next, needs next it. episode, he needs 100%. It just in life. 100%. You know what I'm saying? And I'll bring my Nerf gun. <laughs> Yo, listen. <laughs> let's get into the real, real talk of the park. Okay. Okay, let's do Right? It. Let's get Yo. into the meat and potato. Hey, hey yo. 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 Now, Chrissy. Vegan meat and potatoes. One of your favorite jackets that I got from you, buy weed from women. Yeah. You the plug. Yeah. With the pearl necklace. <laughs> yeah. I'm clutching my pearls real I quick. don't smoke, 
but it has brought, been brought to my attention. Wow. Here we go. That you don't never bring have weed. <laughs> I literally pull stuff out here. I just brought an eighth. Pa said you don't oh, never light up. No, 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 no. Pa said wild. you don't never light up. I didn't roll up the last time I saw you when pa we went said you to never Long Island. Up. I rolled up two. You never got no bud, man. I ain't never oh, got no bud. You never got bud. How you bring, the plug and bring you never step got out. bud? Bring stuff out. I literally just dropped two backwards and an eighth right on on your. There's stuff right there. What did I bring over to you? I actually never got weed. No, no, no. What did be I? Honest, I forget honest. about never. <laughs> give it a yo. Give it a mic. Give it a mic. Yeah, it was a fucking come eclipse. On, it was a fucking <laughs> eclipse. It was. No, go ahead. Talk your shit. She I want to know. She came with some butt. Stuff. She came with butt and two backwards, so she came prepared. I came. But Nems didn't want nobody to smoke before the podcast, so right. I didn't roll up. Yes. But she right. did come prepared on a pothead type of time. But no, but not pa, having that Paz didn't say it about today. Paz said it another time. There's, there's been many times where I've left my house in a hurry and forgot to bring rug, correct. However, uh, how are you the plug and you don't have weed at all? Uh, how are you're, you not, always, you're never supposed to leave Because I smoke it, it's in my car. And I'm always in a rush and I'm always smoking it all. So by the time I get out here, uh, but listen, scumbag. Well, I'm, oh, I'm the scumbag now. Listen, from here on out, you can't, it's a new, new day, new me. I brought some weed, so what do you got to say today? Say thank you. Wow. Clap so, so clap no, 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 no clapping. And, and then in Long Island, Hold your up. last show, I brought weed. I had, Ooh, I had, that, that's I had what he two, said you didn't bring weed. I had oh, two blunts oh, rolled up, and that's oh, I'm sorry. Stand on your business, bro. Oh, I didn't have man. two blunts rolled oh, up said, already. You said he, she didn't. Yeah. No, no, yes, no, he do. don't care. Yes, you do. He's making it. Yeah, you No, no. No, it's talking. okay. It's okay. Because I know he talks his shit. Exactly. So call him out. Call exactly. him out. Exactly. Talk your shit. Now talk we're face to face. Necklace, we talked about. No, no. We on the weed. He's trying to plug. Yo, she never got bugged, boy. Damn, see? I'm telling you. That's, a That's fact. how he feels. So right. how do you feel about it? How do I feel? I always have bud. So you say she's the, she's the one back in the day with the ciphers that'd be like, I got a Dutch. Yeah, I, <laughs> I got a Dutch. I got a Dutch. Oh, she I brought got it nickel. already. Yeah, she got it already. Oh, she comes with the Dutch. With the Dutch. She don't forget the Dutch. Yeah, yeah, fast. She just forgets I the come beat. with shit rolled up already. And then we smoke it. We was, in the, we was in the strip club and I had a pack of back with all of them was gone. I rolled five blunts, bro. She ain't had nothing. She was like this. Wow. At the strip club? <laughs> That was the last. I didn't know we were going to the strip club. A what? I thought we were You're the plug. You're supposed to always have bud. She didn't have for the first. Buy weed from women. Lost can of club. All this shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? She got a whole team of them behind. Listen, ask yeah, about me. Women, Nobody women, else is complaining. Women, women, None of them bitches got weed. <laughs> Mad, mad fucking. Defeated. They want to give I'm them dead. dodges and shit, but they don't got no bug. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. I don't know how true that Bitches is. Bitches give them massages with a We're going to need to do a poll and see about all the people that hang out with me if I have butt on oh, me. Oh, my God. She's taking it the wrong way. He's to, no. no, we're going to do a poll. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, do it. I'm not taking it you, the wrong way. I'm taking it correct. Stand on your fucking word. What stand on fucking what? business, Paz. What you scared for? We're going to do a poll with all the people around me. I don't yeah. Know. Ah, I want to know. Face. You got to save face. She don't want to look cheap. Nah, I'm not cheap. All my friends, I smoke all of them up, and they know they can vouch for me. That's a Yo, fact. So Pa's not your friend? Not really, the way he's Damn. talking about me. <laughs> he's obviously talking behind my back. That's no, not a friend. Like oh, that. she don't got no bud. Damn, Damn she's a plug homie. with no bud. She's a plug, always in a drought. That's funny. <laughs> Listen, I'm always sold out. It's that good. Ooh. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all right, because that weed in there, you're not hitting, so it's Damn. okay. Since I don't bring any things to the table. Son. I am the table bitch. Ooh. Wow, that's a big bitch. Yo, so, nah, I'm a so that's how I feel about that. Oh, uh, uh, we're going to see. I'm just, I'm just, the, don't kill a messenger. Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. Paz, one thing Paz does do, is talk shit about everybody. I love it. You know what I'm saying? That's he good. also talks shit about my locks. Now Someone we all talk a... shit about that. But he Bob hated it. He hated it the most. Damn, why? I had everybody in Long Island coming up to me. Someone didn't like your locks that day. Wow. <laughs> and it was like not pointing any elbow. You're like a fucking old wash woman. What do you mean? All you yeah, do is even... fucking bump at the and chill. fight. At the fight? <laughs> 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 All you do is. Every time I come around, Pa says shit. some new shit about me, about something I did wrong. Wow. You ever heard, he ever told you something about me? 
Listen, you got to be careful. Yo, know? is that a new yeah. thing, or People is that after he got the girl's heart? Nah, never, never. That's, that's on God. That's no. after he got the girl's heart, nah. After he started yeah, talking. Yeah, now he started talking like a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> And look, he can't even defend himself because he's I don't so even care. high. Talk. He, he doesn't care about nothing talk. today. Talk. I'm no, in a listen, good mood. I'm in a good mood. He's in a good mood. Oh yeah. He's no, another can break my stride. Why? What's the point of being a fucking co-host on a pod if you can't talk? <laughs> You're so stoned you can't fucking talk. Wait, did you smoke? Yeah. Uh. Are you so? Yeah, he was standing right in the sun, smoking a whole blunt. I said, Yo, bro, don't smoke that whole shit. Chill. Got my thing. No, uh -huh. oh no, I got this. Nah, you don't got this. So we uh, see what happens. I'm a, I'm a lackluster. I, la I, I let it go. Lacks of days ago. This pod was going good. Last episode was Get good. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You're out of control. Now it's man. back to nah. You can't oh, smoke yeah. before we have you be a good boss? Because you're good for nothing. Wow. Right. Wow, what? All right. Name one All thing right. you said All right. good. All right. Name one. Yo, pod. We're at uh whatever we at. 20 minutes. I can't. Whatever. No, I don't give a at fuck. this mark How about right that? now. I'm yeah. not in the mood today. I'm chilling today. You just said you're in a good mood. Now I'm you're in a good in the mood. mood. I don't make care. Make up your fucking mind. Bro, shut the fuck up. How about oh, that? make up your. Yo, yo make yo, up your up? fucking yo, mind. Yo, bro. <laughs> yo, do I need to sit in the middle yo. of you guys? What the fuck is yeah, going on? That's an asshole, bro. Sky, man. Did we tell that story on the pod? What what, what story? Oh, I think we did. Talking to the fuck. I am. Mind. I'm good. <laughs> you're not what the happened? sound guy. You don't even know what's going on. He don't even know what's going on. <laughs> about Vegas, did we tell the Vegas story already? Yeah, hell no, yeah. We're, 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 yeah, we're, we're done, we're done, we're done with that. We already ran that kid into the fucking mud. <laughs> I feel sorry for him, I might fucking throw him a line. <laughs> nah, I doubt it. Nah. Hated it. That's like, that's that's another thing I want to come. That's like, fake friendships. What do we hold on to fake friendships for? Like, yo, there's people I haven't talked to in fucking ages. Somebody fucking dies in their family. I'm supposed to give them my condolences. <laughs> no. So if you see it in their story and you're passing their story. I, well, one like, thing I'm I notoriously am bad at watching stories. I don't watch people's stories. Got I don't it. know why. I mean, I, I'm just I don't I'm not you're a person busy. that watches you people's. You're a scroller. I, I you're a scroller. Like you scroll. I'm a scroller. The I'm a scroller. Yeah, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a, like a story watcher though. I try to. The people I've genuinely fucked with, like Paz. Chrissy, you, I try, like, when I see it, I make a conscious effort to be like, all right, let me watch this story to see what's going on with my friends. But before that, because it has been a complaint, like, bro, you don't see what's going on. You don't watch none of my shit. But, so like I was saying, like, yo, I don't talk to people in fucking two years. Their uncle dies, their fucking grandmother dies. I gotta fucking give them a condolence. Nah, cause it's a podcast. People call and be like, yo, what's up, yo? I don't give a fuck. You ain't been fucking with me. Like, all of a sudden now you see me on YouTube and you wanna fucking call and check in. You know I had heart surgery. Where the fuck was you at then? Get the fuck out of here. Is there Facts. a lot of that for so you, boss? Uh, a lot, yeah. There's yeah, nah. That. So 2024, I'm not holding on to none of those friendships. If we ain't speak for fucking months, there's a reason. Either I don't want to, if, if I don't reach out to you or you don't reach out to me, let it be. Yeah. Nah, sometimes people are busy. I get it. You know what I'm True saying? friends, I've noticed in me getting older, I true know. friends are the people that you cannot talk to in the fucking six months or a year. You and when you up. talk to them, it's nothing has changed. Yeah, go back, right back, right back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the right. rapport is there. You know, there's no, oh, I haven't, you know. But there's yeah. a lot of uh, there's a lot of fake friendships people hold on to, and especially with me, uh, just because if somebody in my something happens in my life, that don't mean I'm at a weakened state where I'll I'm, I'll accept your apology or something. I Man, feel like women women are good at that. Like my wife is like a big, she got like a group of friends that they're like I don't know, they want to be my friends. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not really like core. You know. It's, I, it's feel, I feel like as a, as a woman, good point. Or at least I can. What? Good point. Yeah. Good. I, I, feel, I feel like as a woman. Well, fuck you, bro. And uh, especially me, I can be too nice in allowing people's like stay like over you know overstay their welcome in my life as a friend. You Absolutely. Know what I mean? Because you feel bad. 
you know, they, they want to keep up with you and you're just like, it's not it anymore. You be we don't careful have with that. that. You got to be careful with that because people take advantage. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah, absolutely. And there's also some people that, there's people that I grew up with, man, that because we grew up with, I feel like I got to keep some type of rapport with them when the fact is, you still living like we're 17, bro. I'm a grown ass yeah. man. Like we don't have nothing in common no more. And I'm trying to hold on to the friendship because we're fucking, we grew up together. It's like, nah, bro, we grew apart. That's what people yeah, do. That's what and that's okay. Say, you changing and shit like that because I don't do what I was doing when I was 25. That? Nigga, I'm 47. I don't want to do that again. If you're the same person you were five to 10 years ago, you're doing something wrong in life. Facts. That, remind, that reminds me of an interview with uh, Snoop Dogg and ASAP Rocky. Uh, Snoop Dogg was talking about something called closing the gap. So like someone like you or, you know, anyone that's like leveling up, right? So you're out here with your Coney Island people and you're leveling up with the rap shit, your bing bong shit, yada yada. And then you have friends that are down here and you love and adore them and you fuck with them. But how are you going to close the, the gap? They either have to level up and come to your level to close that gap or, which is something that you'll never do, is go back down to the Absolutely. Level. So at that point, when you have those friends that are still doing the same shit and not in, and, you know, not on your level and, and just, you know, vibrating higher on that frequency, you sometimes have to let them go. And that's the closing the gap either. And when you let people go, it's not because we don't, I don't love them. Or yeah, that's just, sad. That's yo, I sad. love the way that, that, that she just put that because that's 100 percent how it is. And I also feel like, yo, I'm the mayor of Coney Island and all of that. But if this store wasn't here, man. I would be here a lot less than I am now. That's like, sad. the store is still the hangout point. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm here as much as I can be. But I feel like if this store wasn't here, I would barely be out here anymore. You know what I'm saying? Yes. One, because I'm already barely out here. I'm <clears throat> busy. You know what I'm saying? But two, the more levels I, success, I, I succeed, there's a couple people out here that I have that are succeeding as well. And I keep them around me. And mm -hmm. But there's, there's also a lot of people that are just staying stagnant. Yeah. And at this yeah. point in my life, staying stagnant is not an option. You know what I'm saying? Like, I refuse to stay stagnant because that's not what life's about. Life is about leveling up and keep leveling up no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not also leveling up or, or at least trying to, then what are we doing here? Yeah, that's yep. a fact. People you know want saying? handouts, I feel like, all the time. Yeah. They don't want to grind or work. Even if you sh shove them in the right direction, they won't want to go. They just want you to stay here. And now ain't nobody doing that. Get the fuck out of here. Now, now that you've been on a successful tour, Paz, are, are people coming out the woodwork uh, asking you for handouts? Do they think you're famous? Yeah, absolutely. Family, yeah, friend. yeah. Family, my moms. and I don't care about my mother. She get what she wants, but... Friends, especially yeah, family friends, they think like, like I'm Nims or something. Like, nah, I'm his friend. That's it. Fuck out of here. I love the fact that a lot of people, well, I keep my phone on Do Not Disturb at all times now. You know what I'm saying? So there's maybe, <laughs> I have another phone. I really don't even. I, I tried to do the two phone things. I got another phone. It's good to have another phone always. So if you wanna go live and do and do this, you know, it's, it's always benefits. But then uh, I'd rather just keep my shit on Do Not Disturb. I got a list of like 10 to 15 people that are in my favorites that they can call me whenever it'll go through. But the rest, man, just text me. I need to know what you want first before I respond to you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you just build, <coughs> you build uh, a wall in between the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody shouldn't be at this. When you when you level up, everybody shouldn't be able to get to you. Mm -hmm. Too accessible, you mean? Yeah. You can't be too accessible. I'm already enough accessible being here all the time. You know what I'm saying? On my free time, when I'm not here, I want to be left the fuck alone. Simple as that. Yeah, that's a fact. Now, what happened with you, man? Well, listen, I'm, I, I, that's going to be my scumbag of the week. Nah, let's talk about that shit. Fuck talk that. Talk about that right now. Well, I'm going to, that's, this is my scumbag of the week. All right, all right. All right. Let's get right into it. Scumbag. Why not? Let's start with CB. Woo. Oh, go ahead, CB. That's I had a morning. All right. So basically, there was a girl I was dating in the cannabis space um, last year. What's her name? Well, no. 
Um, we don't have to uh, put the name out because everybody, once I get with the story, everybody <coughs> in the uh, cannabis uh, space, uh, and uh. my friends will definitely know who I'm talking about. But we can shout her out. I don't give a fuck at this point. Um, make a long story short, uh, we stopped dating in December. It was um, very toxic. Very, very aggressive, abusive relationship. Like you abused her, she abused you. I don't. I would not uh, touch or disrespect a woman like that. And I mean, I shouldn't even be getting abused either. But it wasn't even about like the physical. It's all. Well, she was fucking emo- you up. Um, no, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it was more like emotional, mental abuse, which can be worse than physical. You know, I mean, I can eat those. Like that physical, mental shit sticks with you and really fucks with your brain. But that's not even what I'm talking about here right now because I don't want to go too much into my business in that relationship. But we're just going to fast forward to April. What? We don't have to go through that. No, I'm talking about the fucking people (laughs) stopping and going. So so basically, um, I haven't been with this person since like end of last year. But (coughs) they needed a job. And I'm just too nice and I care about people. So I said, listen, you need some work. I can put you to work, blah, blah, blah. She came to work this morning to work uh, for Lost Canada Club, do a few things. And I was, as an employer, delegating to my employee tasks that needs to be done throughout the day. And how much they're getting paid, whatnot. And then it's kind of like, no, I'm not doing that. You have to give me extra. Like, I'm, basically, with, with what I give, the tasks that I give for my job is super easy, straight to the point, organizing, inventory, t- holding down the work phone. That's it. I asked, like, for something simple. So she came she said, with negative energy? She came with mad negative energy as soon as you walked in. <coughs> Said she's not doing it so i was like then there's no point of you being here and me paying you so i was like i'm gonna call and get my actual assistant and have her hold down i was doing this for as a favor for you so you can make your little extra bread flipped out i went and I, i'm like very you know i don't want to be dealing with confrontation because i already know how crazy this bitch can get and i'm sorry to call her a bitch but she's a bitch and basically i went to, i went on my phone to call my <coughs> assistant and i closed the door in my apartment <coughs> And then you just hear, clink, clink, clink. Like, I have jars of uh, glass uh, flower va- vase. Just glass everywhere, thrown everywhere. My dog's food, my dog's in the house. You know how I feel about my dog. You can't fuck with me and my dog. And basically, make a long story short, I come out, to, I hear all this ruckus, and she's like, bye, and then leaves the crib. Knowing I have the podcast, knowing I have to get my face beat, <laughs> I have all this shit that I have to do, and now I'm stuck in my crib. It took me about 45 minutes. You know when glass shatters, it's yeah, like that's, that's fucking yeah. annoying. That, that's God. hard to pick up. And I have my dog, you know? Yeah. And my dog's walking around. He just got fucking glass in his, you know, his paw. I'm, I'm just like freaking what is out. The do- you should have sick the dog on that bitch. I should have done a lot of things, but at the end of the day, you have to understand that I, she has nothing to lose. She has nothing going on that she can lose. Me, I have so many things, so many different things that I can lose, you know? And I just, yeah. I have more shit to lose that I was just like, you know what? That's it. Just, I'm going to put her on blast right here. And people just need to know because you can't. Yeah, that's you weird. You just, I just want to tell people, like, don't let anyone fucking bully you. Don't let anyone abuse you in your own home, make you feel like you need them because that's not the case, you know? And don't ever be too fucking nice to these people because once you do, you see, you get full taken advantage of. My house is trashed this morning. Um, and yeah, that's my scumbag of the week. Let's get a scumbag. 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 Let's say her name, though. She got pink hair. <laughs> she likes the attention. Here you go, baby. Damn. That's what you think it was. I don't know. Somebody else likes attention. Oh, Ow. shit. Okay. She got the red jacket to match the red flags. <laughs> she got the Team Jordans. That's, right. That's the red flag, too. That's, that was some bum shit. Come on, bro. It's always the bummiest with the fucking highest motherfucking cop. Doesn't matter what she had on, bro. Get nah, out Team here. Jordans? A what? You must know her. That's why. Nah, she probably got some good pussy. You nah, know. you definitely know her. No, good pussy with Team yeah, Jordan. Yeah, facts. Team Jordan, that's a Mexican. Team pussy. Jordan's got, got good pussy, you said? Yeah, All no. the Mexican girls they got, got mad pussy. kids. They wear them shit. Stink pussy. Whatever, man. It's pussy, man. Who's your scumbag of the week, man? Julius Randle. Because he got fucking surgery on his shoulder now, and we're about to get into the playoffs. Oh, well, this guy's scumbag. just been a letdown all episode, huh? <laughs> Holy shit. That's my Julius wow. Us. This That's is for my all of you in the comments. Oh my god. And when god. you see him that tell him he's so fucking hilarious, also let him know when he fucks up, bro. Cause this is Bro, I don't get the fuck out of here. You That's don't my care? That's my scumbag. You don't care? You don't that, care? Hold up, good. do you not care? 
Yo, don't do that. Get nah, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Bro, <laughs> here we go, here we I'm go. Ask, uh, yeah, I, I care. care. I care. That's my scumbag, bro. I'm a Nick fan. Okay. What was going to happen if he said he didn't care? Nah, because he does. Everywhere he goes. Yeah, I'm the podcast this, podcast that. I don't that. say that. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here, bro. You're crazy. What's wrong with you today? Those shades got you all oh. fucked up. <laughs> Get the fuck that out of here. That eclipse got everybody go wild. Randall, get the fuck out of here. Who's your scumbag? Julius Randle. Man, fucking man. live actions, fucking Android. That's my fucking scumbag of the week, bro. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, I know scum. he's right yeah, there. Live, <laughs> live action is acting like he's not part of the podcast today. What? Yo. <laughs> scumbag of the week. Yo, you. Yo, live action. Pull up a chair, Pop. I got a couple scumbags. Yeah, yeah, this week. yeah. Let's go. One is, I just was getting some fucking, I was chilling. The one thing is when people say, where do I know you from? Today there was two like frat, frat boys in their school uniforms. And he was like, yo man, I know, do I know you? I was like, I don't know bro, I don't, what am I fucking thinking for you? I, I just came out the gym, it was me and Melo, I'm already sweaty. Uh, yo man, it's staring at me, yo do I know you? I don't know who the fuck you know bro. Then he goes, do you know me? You look familiar. Do you know me? I said, bro, I don't know you from a motherfucking hole in the wall. <laughs> oh, man, are you famous? Man, get the, give me my shit, bro. I'm getting the fuck out of here, bro. Okay. If I have Mello smack one of these fucking frat boys up. <laughs> I can't think for you. If you know who the fuck I am, just say it. If you don't, then then fucking keep it moving. Yeah. If you know who I am, just say, yo, Nems, what up? Yo, Bing Bong, yo, I, I know your videos. Peace. Keep it moving. If you don't, if you can't spot it, then don't spot it. Bye. Yeah. Figure it out later and be like, yo, I see that guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. facts. Shouts to Pistol Pete, man. Dog in the Yard podcast. Facts. Shout Mello out to Mello. was just on it, man. Yeah, nah, nah. Mello just did a dope episode. Um, Pistol Pete's Dog in the Yard podcast. Um, seeing that, yo, that, that's a dope podcast. Yo, live action. Live action, baby. Good. Yeah, pop. The other, we'll talk about the Dog in the Yard podcast in a second. The other scumbag of the week is live action's Android phone. <laughs> All right? Because. Green bubbles. At about 2 o'clock, we started filming at 3. At about 2 o'clock, maybe 1.30, I realized that live action is not in the group text with us because he has a fucking Android. Right? He's so everybody every else knew text. to be here on time. And I'm fucking texting him, yo, we shooting today at 3. He was like, oh, I don't get out till 3.30. You know what I'm saying? So I couldn't. Let me see if he can move over more. What are you looking at? What are you looking at, big boy? I'm looking at the camera. You're taping? Yeah. Get me on tape. Everybody can talk on their phone. Nah, talk to your friend. <laughs> Roll him. We need the water gun back out over <laughs> here, bro. We need the fucking water gun. That was a little, that was a little fucking old nah, lady. What bro. am I gonna do to her? She's a fucking old lady, bro. Yeah, fast. Only thing I could do at that point is just spray up. Shut the fuck up. Bang! Water gun. There we go. You know she wowed out. Glorious day today. Hello. Hello. Yo, make her beat her up Hello. for a dollar. Hello. <laughs> See that lady with the blonde wig? I'll give you fifty dollars. You go smack in the face head right now. Nah, I don't do that. No, no, no. Shut up. <laughs> you just keep losing all day. Bro, why you want to You're setting this part shit up. He's taking L's like Cole right oh, now out here. Shit. You got a scumbag of the week? Nah, I don't even want to put them out there in my Put them out there. Nah. We'll bleep the name out. We'll bleep. Nah, I can't, man. <laughs> I wish I could, though. If I would have, I would have blew them up because they really scumbags. See, a dog like that is so little that I could literally pick it up and launch it like a football. Don't launch any I would, uh, dogs. <laughs> Yo. A little dog really like that, nothing will ever happen to you. Can't nobody creep up on you. That should have been like, <laughs> Can't nobody do nothing, period. You can't do nothing. Yeah, right. Can't even sleep with a fucking dog like that. Nah, them shits, all them shits make noise. All of them. My aunt had one when we was young and shit. Those are the most vicious out. dogs out. Oh, motherfucker. They're, they're worse than pit bulls. They're they worse know. than pit bulls. You can't yeah, even right. sit on the bed or nothing. My little dog Start is vicious. Start going crazy. Yeah. Hold they up, got the, the Napoleon complex, you know? What are we talking about? Oh, Mello on the fucking dog in the yard. Yo, listen. Mello didn't think he did a good job. I told him, yo, you did a fucking great job. You know what I'm saying? Then when it came out, I spent like... 
I spent like two hours last night, one, three hours, an hour watching it, screenshotting the clips that I thought were dope, putting them into one minute reels, putting the captions on it, because that's what we do for each other. Somebody like me, that fucking, that don't, you know, I don't need to do that. I, I, I don't even do that for myself. I got other people that fucking do that for me. But because that's my cousin, he don't know how to fucking do that social media shit. He don't do it. I spent fucking my whole, my three hours of my night last night. Hop it up. Hop it up for that, man. That was a lot of work. That's Family fire. Over that's fire, baby. bro. Family over everything. So uh, I, it made me realize how... You know, we feel like we don't got our shit together on this part, and a lot of times we don't. Ray's not here, the audio guy came late. We don't have our shit together all the time. But seeing other podcasts, how they operate, they didn't send me any clips. They sent me they sent me the clips after I made my own clips. You know what I'm saying? None of this shit had the captions on it. The, the title of the fucking, the shit is, it don't even say Dog in the Yard Podcast. It just says Straight to Denimora. Like, and I, on the fucking, the, the title of the YouTube just says Straight to Denimora. It doesn't even say Dog in the Yard podcast, nothing. I'm like, all right, we, at least we got our shit going a little bit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? We got a little structure, you know what I'm saying? We ain't that bad. So, that to, with that to be said is that sometimes you won't know that I fail because I don't talk about it. I don't even fucking... I don't let it bother me. When my failures, I take them and I keep it moving and move on to the next shit. So much though, so that you won't even know that I failed because I'm not bitching about it. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just learning from it and keeping it moving. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. <laughs> now you do got a positive attitude because even when I was going through my shit and I was a little depressed, you, be, you always pep talk me out of it. Like, come on nigga, fuck that. And, and it's true, it works. Complaining don't help nothing. Nobody gives a fuck about complainers. Nobody gives a fuck that you have problems. They're actually, Acts. people are happy that you got your problems. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They'll create ain't, more problems. Ain't nobody trying to help you. So what is the point? If you feel angry about something, there was numerous times when we was on the tour that either a promoter would fuck up or other things would happen where I would want to go live or just do a video and numerous times I made the video like, yo, fuck these promoters, they don't do their job. They just wanna get openers, make their money like that and don't care about actually promoting. Yeah, and facts. then I just deleted the video before I even posted it because whatever, we still gonna rock the fucking show. Yeah. We still gonna have a rocking show. We gonna make the best out of any situation and it, there's no point in complaining. Yeah. People don't know that that's going on, so why even give them a, a look into the inner workings of how I move. You know what I'm right. saying? They don't give a fuck anyway. Why even let them know? Fuck them. About your thing. Facts. Yeah. Uh, what happened with I fucking three quarters? I, uh, they reached out to me, Sanitation. Today is my official last day. Clap it up, man. Clap it up, man. Yes, man retired, retired, baby. Yeah, right. They did the right thing. I'm, uh, I'm officially retired to, as of today. And they gave me three quarters. Three quarters is, uh, when you retire, you get half. 50% of your pension or whatever. Since what happened tax to me, free. Tax free, that's true. I get 75%. That's three quarters. That's hard to get, and uh, I did it without a lawyer. Fire. Surprise, surprise. All right. Surprise. Now, who's your scumbag of the week? Uh, 831, the union. What's Sanita 831? That's the sanitation union, 831 local. They're supposed to be the strongest union in New York City. They're a bunch of fucking scumbag motherfuckers. They ain't helped me at all, bro. So I think about what I went through and all the hoops I had to go through, and I couldn't even go to my union, who take dues out no matter what, they on it. They ain't helped me with shit, the Yo, whole process. and I'm gonna keep it real. When I got with sanitation, I was strong union guy because I was just like fucking, these guys do the right thing, you know, da, da, da. they had me fooled. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they come like the mob. They all lined up with suits and shit with, next to Harry and Spoda. That's the president. You had, you had to sit at like a table? Not we all sit like a sanitation clout or today? Nah, they told me yesterday when I went to my garage, today was my last day. So, yo, after I retired, once or not, 
see, they forced me to retire. I was just calling out sick. It's unlimited sick days and sanitation. Right. So I was trying, I was trying any way to make it to 10 years so I could keep my medical benefits. But I was very pro-union when I was in sanitation, right? Yeah, that's a fact. Me too. After, once once it got to the end, and they seen that I wasn't, they wasn't going to have money coming out of my check every week or none of that. Yo, they didn't help me whatsoever. Nah. Yeah, facts. And I nah. seen them for what they really was. Like, oh, that's foul. Like, I really don't they give like a fuck. like the paint. Yeah. They don't give a fuck, but. You know why? Because they already know that that spot that's vacant is whoever fills that spot, they're going to have to pay them anyway. Facts. So they always going to keep their money coming and in. And in sanitation, they do it. They say every day they take money out your check and they put it away for you. For when you retire and the union matches it. For what, right? okay? Nah, nah, it's like annuity. It's like called. annuity. Yeah. It's so, separate. when I just got my annuity back and I got the money back, probably about half was like penalties, tax, penalties fees, taxes. Right. So that half that they was they told you they were putting in the whole time, they didn't take no money out. It was just my money that I was putting away. You know what I'm saying? So all that shit they was talking, yo, we do this for you. That's Yep. Yeah, fact. Absolutely. They, they penalize yeah, the, their own bread. Like, so they're taking it back. Like, uh, scumbag. <laughs> but yo, I just want to say that's the union. But sanitation department as a whole, that's the best job. And I'm always New York's strongest. I fuck with that. That's job. why you wearing the hat? Yeah, that's why I'm ripping. That's, that's not a sanitation oh. hat. Why it's a fuck yeah. your life hat. No, and I almost got jammed up. I was at a road call with this hat on like this with all the sanitation people. It was the chief, you know, telling us delegating the work. He peeped the fucking, he, I don't even know how he saw, I was in the back, bro. He was like, come here, let me see that hat. He was like, all right, take that hat off and we finish this road call. I was like, all right, you got it, Chief. Facts. He now, saw they told that. Me, they told me I was going to lose my job and they was going to send me a cease and desist. Or oh, they gave me a cease and desist for making those hats. And I would lose my job when I was sanitation when I made that, because I was the first one to make sanitation. I'm not as mad and the mad people do that shit. Yeah, facts. But I was the first one. And then after, you know, I retired, Put that shit right back. Yeah, but I'm officially out. retired. Nice. I'm retired, man. That feels what good, say? bro. Fuck sanitation? No, it's fucking Nah, I fuck, fuck with your sanitation. Life. Fuck your life. Sanitation oh, is yeah, the best yeah. job, like bro. You dissing them? Nah, listen, I didn't, I don't, they I didn't want to have a nine to five. Thirsty. They always I worked that for eight money. years. That was a great job. The only job in the city where they hire felons to city jobs, yeah, pension, right. benefits. You so, your own boss, too. Like, nah, nah, it is, it is a good job. Sanitation work. Yeah, hell make yeah. Good money. Yeah, good get money. Paid every, 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 yes. every, oh, <laughs> you get paid every week. It's like an income tax check every week if you if you really work though. You gotta really Yo, work. having like he the, ain't work really. Outside is like an extra podcast member. You know what I'm saying? It's like a character, right? That's yeah, yeah, that's the extra <laughs> You're paid actor. Oh, Speaking of which, we got Papita. Okay. You wanna be on camera or no? No. Papa. How? How? He's so mad. <laughs> come on, come on. We're making it up to you. We're making it up because to you. Because we're making huh? it up to you. You you can tell your real story. So what happened with the what, dog? What bro? really happened? Listen. Tell them. Tell the people. Them. Tell them. Enough with the dog, bro. So nothing happened, right? Oh, Let's not play games. Dog. Listen, enough with the dog. That's it. The dog is dead. Yeah, yeah we're beyond and beyond with the dog. So we come killing. On, we killing the dog. Yeah. Uh. Niggas already gone. <laughs> you don't see him around no more. He That's caught somebody. Love <laughs> you. Yo, your teeth look nice, Camito. Yeah. yeah. Show the people. Come show real smile. quick. Smile, smile, in camera. Camera. smile in the camera. Smile in the camera. Show the show the camera. See the sun hit them shits. They gonna. Yeah. They look nice, bro. This look like ninoleum. <laughs> <laughs> you can break this like on them rocks. Yeah. They gave you teeth? Get out of here. Get the fuck they did. Joe Byron gave you they teeth? That's why them shits that's look like that. That's no joke. Uh, Nothing. <laughs> no no diddy, I'm gonna miss the guys. Cause we had like a camaraderie. Like, they've been working for like three years already, bro. Oh, you. Two, yeah, but those are my niggas, man. Yeah. Shout out M10 and BK13. Why you so, crying? I ain't crying, yo, you a sucker. <laughs> I feel like it though. You heard it, huh? <laughs> you keep, are you funny? That's why I keep bringing Yo, when up. I was working sanitation, I remember specifically, the guys came, would come to me and be like, yo, we're doing this. 
on Sunday or Saturday, we're having a party, and I'll be like, I'm already with you guys more than my family, friends, everything. But if I'm not getting paid, I don't want to fucking hang out with you guys. I just fucking met you on the job. Even though there was mad cool guys in my I garage, mad, mad and cool I still cat. fuck with them. When we yeah. were just in Orlando, one of my guys came that retired. One of my homies, A Rod. You know what I'm saying? This is now he's trying to get three quarters or something. He out sick. There's hurt. mad. There's mad cool people I met in the sanitation department. 100. percent Yeah, that's a but, fact. A lot, of, a lot of guys go in there, and this is with cops, firemen, a lot of jobs. They go in there kind of with no life, and they make that their life. This is These are my brothers, this union. Yeah, facts. That's oh, all they have. Yeah, they, they they that, that, makes, that becomes their yeah. identity. Yeah, they all gang yeah. Like, I worked. I it worked like for sanitation, like a fraternity. and that's it. I, wasn't, I didn't walk around, yo, yeah. 831 sanitation yeah. is my life. All of this. I want you nah. guys to be the groomsmen at my wedding. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you guys are cool. I fuck with y'all, but. Yeah, but we have work. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I got my group of friends. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. So what's up with you, bro? Chilling, kid. What's going on, man? What's up, yo? I ain't even know what was popping off. Y'all ain't making no decisions, man. Because you got an Android, bro. Huh? We're going to have to get you a company phone. Do that. Here we go. Yeah, do that. <laughs> I mean, you want me to have an iPhone? Go, go buy that shit for me. Go spend a thousand. Yo, when we get the new deal, yeah. that's gonna be a contingent. We're gonna get you an iPhone. I don't need no iPhone. But it's coming out your own money. Ah. I, 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 I was waiting for that. That's not even a gift, bro. That's fucked up. We're gonna get How about you an this? You get your phone, you get your own phone, I'll pay the monthly. Nah. Oh, wow. I got my own phone. Bro, you got an Android from 86. Even... That's all right. It you worked. got an IBM Android. <laughs> it worked. You got a call, man. Yo, you don't pick up when people call you anyway. Bugging. I pick up. I might I not pick up pick right up. on the spot, but I'll but, pick up. Yeah, man. <laughs> what? That don't I don't be sitting there figure fucking my phone all day. Like six rings. Yo, his battery. We was on tour. Everybody, the bat, the, the 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 Sprinter van. The electric cut out like in Portland. So the rest of the way, we had no charge. We couldn't charge our phone on the Sprinter. Nothing. Everybody's phone goes out in a couple hours, bro. His phone lasts like five days. <laughs> Facts. Because he I ain't never on it. Man. He don't text. He yeah, ain't on the grid. You know what I mean? If you want to get in contact with me, you call me. I'm not looking for nobody. I'm not. You know what I mean? That that's like why we went back to, to the, the my fake friendship. My grandfather used to be like that. That's Yo, that's, that's, that's when you go back to the yeah, facts. fake friendships, bringing me back to another scumbag of the week, man. And that oh, goes along man. with the fake friendships, man. Yo, you gotta get the scumbag shirts. Yeah, scumbag. Yeah. Just put Pasta's face on it. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm scrolling. Every time I scroll, though, if I refresh, a whole new set of things come up. So, a lot of shit I don't catch. This one, I, ca I caught. Some shit said corny in all caps. So, I click on the page. It's my fucking, one of my ex ex's father. Wow. This guy got to be 70 or above. You know what I'm saying? So I go a little more down. There's another long ass comment. I'm like, what the fuck is From this? From the same old man? From the same old man. You heard I'm, his daughter. My, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I'm not putting that up over here. What's that, Tony Touch? All right, yeah, you can put that up. Hold up, come here, show that in the camera. So the people can see it, man. So look. I got it. So this dude, so I'm like, yo. One of them shits, Bob. Good looking. I'm like, yo, fuck. And that, yo, I'm tight. We ain't going to be able to go there because we're going to be on tour in Canada. That's again. Right now, tickets are on sale. We're going to be in Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, Hamilton. There's mad spots. We're doing a whole Canadian run from May 30th to, this shit. to January, to, to June, uh, like the middle of June. You can get your tickets right now at nemsontour.com. The same as the Disrespect Tour. We're bringing the Disrespect Tour to Canada. Hey, so I'm kind of mad, though. We're missing the Tony Touch shit at Radio City on June 7th. And, um, and I was we're missing the Puerto day. Rican parade. Is that Canada and Australia or Australia? Nah, Africa? just Canada. Okay. Australia is giving us a problem with the paperwork right now. Mm, got it. Um, but we will be in Australia. The bookings have already came in. Um, it's just a problem, like, they're making us really go through, Canada is strict, I mean, yeah. Australia is strict yeah, just like yeah. Canada. Oh, you gotta go through hoops? Yeah, so if you got a criminal record, it becomes like a big problem. <laughs> so, uh, yo, this guy was fucking just talking mad shit, and I, I found myself 
doing a whole big comment like, yo, going back and forth with him. Fuck you, fuck your wife, your son is a bitch. You fuck with him. <laughs> you know, a whole bunch of shit. You didn't send it? I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna stoop to these people's levels. When you do that, it makes them feel like they won. That's the only way that he could talk to me. Yeah, you can't respond. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. it's just like, no response is the best. I put them on restriction. I put mad people on restriction. So when you restrict an account, you can't anything, see anything, they can still watch all your shit, but if they try to leave a comment, it goes straight into the I have to approve it first. Yeah, it's hidden. When I see oh, it. Yeah. And a lot of times, I don't even see it. Yeah. Like sometimes late late night, if I scroll through a post I did like three days ago, I'll be like, oh shit, there's mad restricted comments. Yup, talking shit again. Yeah, mm -hmm. just leave it on. They, they, nobody will ever see yeah, it. Good, you know good. what I'm saying? So these motherfuckers are talking to themselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's motherfuckers in my DMs that have been talking to themselves for years. Like sometimes they have, you know, you go to the, the shit stat. <laughs> The, the message that, request. You gotta be a yeah. fucking. I don't look at that a lot. I look at that like maybe once a year, right? I did that shit like around New Year's when we did the polar bear. Like, yo, this this guy been talking to himself for like two years, <laughs> every fucking month. Yo, Nems, yo, Nems, fuck you, yo, fuck you. I'm like, damn, this is a lot of. Uh, to keep going. To and keep no going response? like that with That's... no response. I mean, crazy. Oh, I was gonna say that as a girl, we go through that at just as much. Like, you know how many DMs Shit. guys are strictly just talking to themselves? Like, I'm not. Ta I'm talking about two, three years replying to my stories, fire emojis, and just talking. And I'm just like, yo, it's been two years. I haven't even accepted the message. <laughs> like, you know, I'm not reading, and they're just still going on. Like. People are thirsty, you know, they figure out. Oh, that social can... media shit, if you ain't get if you don't get a grip of it, that shit make you crazy. Yeah. You start I mean, bugging. There's, there's total people on that shit. Yeah, that just and means... not only that, they got like little people that they don't got no picture. I'd be like, yo, homie, if you ain't got no picture, don't even leave a comment, you bored. But yo. sometimes I go back and forth with them. I'd be like, yo, what? But I got burnt for that already, so now I just be like, yo, cause a lot of people do that too. So me. Internet if you see me in the street and you say something crazy to me, I'm going in on you. I'm saying like the most vulgar, vicious shit, how I could make you're, you feel this small. You're hurting feelings. Yes, embarrassing you. Mm -hmm. On the gram, one, if you curse, it's already gonna be, it, it asks you, do you wanna say something else? Messages like this have been reported, but I've done a couple times going back and forth with people. And yeah, those people report my comment, uh -huh. and then I'm like, they started it, after they start it, they go back, off. and then I'll be like, all right, now I just, now I just remember your face, and if I ever see you, <laughs> then, then you give you a win. I, I don't even fucking pay that shit. So no now money. I don't pay it anymore. Yeah, fact. Before I did, and then you get, you get caught out there. I read it though. I yeah, read I used the comments. So I the see, scumbag I of the week is that old twice. motherfucker. Turns out his whole family went bad. Broke up with his his daughter. His son is wild pussy. Yo, the whole family just went bad. A whole family that I once had love for stayed at their crib had, has completely gone bad. They all went the rogue. whole family. That's what happens when you leave people's life. That, yeah, that's what happens when you don't communicate for a couple, you know, if I don't say hi once a year or send condolences when somebody in their family dies. They lose it, they lose it. They lose it. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm, I make that much of an impact in their lives, not saying anything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Simple as that. Imagine if you did respond, you probably would have fixed their whole family. Facts. Now let's get into uh -oh. the monster drip check. Drip bing, 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 bing. Today I got the Brooklyn Psychos snapback. We got the fuck your life sunglasses. We got the Detroit lifers sweater. We got the Union Jordan sweatpants. We got the Union Jordan tools. And we outside, man. Outside. Outside. Go ahead, pause. Got the uh, DSNY sanitation snap. My sanitation shirt that put a lot of work in. My Heron Preston jacket and uh, shorts. And some Air Force Ones, man, keeping it simple. What's up with Heron Preston, man? Oh, he tapped in, Heron Preston. He sent me a fish. Bless you. Damn, yeah, we didn't even shout him out. Wow. wow. Shout out Heron Preston. We were waiting for that. That was through New York Nico, though. New York Nico made that happen. Yeah, he don't, I don't think he knows who I am. Um, New York Nico reached out, I think, to Heron Preston, and Heron Preston sent a couple items for Paz. That was nice of him, yeah. Yeah, that was dope. 
So Hello. shouts to Heron Preston. Hello, Heron Preston. That's why, we, for that. that's why we didn't make a whole bonfire of passes. Heron Preston. Yeah, yeah, that's why I ain't burning on my shit, and I still rock it. Yeah, pearl necklace. I still got the firewood if you change your mind. <laughs> Uh, you know, we got some all hey, black. Yo, got the fire wood. I got right. that. I got that thing on me. You got that fire wood. <laughs> fire <laughs> plastic. With the pearl necklace. Oh, I told you it was silicone, bro. The fire silicone. <laughs> we got the black Tims right here. We know we got the camo pants with this unreleased gorilla fanny pack camo. Only I got one. Facts. They are coming to the FYL store soon, though. But I got the only one. Well, right now, one. yes, you got the only one. Thank you. I'm in my. <laughs> I'm in my right Kanye, now, yeah. I'm in my, my, my Ye merch with the vultures. You know, I got my pearl nec necklace clutching my pearls. Got the back of this vultures. And, you know, we got the FYL G hat like customized with snowman. <laughs> and uh, we outside. Yeah, yo, what you got? Oh, I got my, I just came out of work. I got my Aces <laughs> suit on. I got my Street Champs personal custom made life for shirt. And I got my Aces. They all twisted up from he work. Said aces. <laughs> it's aces. 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 That's fire. Yo, and hopefully by the time this podcast is Thursday, I want to take live action to go meet Jeff Staple, because you know their 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 logo is the pigeon. You know uh, what I'm saying? So yeah, one you know, of the, the street. Live action already got the the New Balance is the the end live actions. Those are hard. Too. You know what I'm saying? He already got the New York That's Nico documentary man. sort of. Instagram quick document. So now we're gonna see if we can find, figure out a campaign for the staple brand and live action. You know what I'm saying? That's it only makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Shit is lit. And that's the Monster yeah. Energy drip check. Bum, bum, bum. Shout out Monster Energy, man. Back. Yo, I wanna do a new, a new thing, man. Cause there's people in my life that all they do is scroll on TikTok. TikTok ruins everything. <laughs> everything that TikTok what, what's it what's it called like when they uh Al nah not update every like when time when they shine a light on it you yeah mean? yeah algorithm nah not the oh. yeah you're fucking off algorithm when they fucking hey, they shine a spotlight when they tell you about something that's supposed to be good oh, yeah, yeah. Not, not but not tiktok itself anybody when you know people there's pages oh this is this place is so good yeah they got the best yeah. pizza here yeah yeah, yeah anytime yeah. a tiktok yeah, look, thing tells you it's good just know it's the opposite. That's a fact. So now we're gonna do the TikTok letdown of the week. Cause it's a fucking, everything TikTok spotlights, but it's not TikTok themselves. It's this he person in my life. She was scrolling and uh, on this movie, Imaginary, right? So it's about like a fucking imaginary doll, toy, teddy bear. Yo, this movie's supposed to be real scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, it does look kind of crazy. TikTok, the guy comes on the screen, like the guy who's pays. Yo, this movie is so crazy, man. You got it. It's so, um, it's it's so, I was so scared that I was like, oh, this got to be good. You watched it? I watched it. One of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> What's the name of it? Imaginary. 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 It has the fucking teddy bear That's on the, movie on the, the cover. Week? That's, That's movie definitely week? not my movie of the week. That's my TikTok letdown of the week. Okay. If you see this on your on demand, on net, wherever the fuck you see it, do not watch it, bro. <laughs> this shit is trash. If you expect to be scared by it, you're going to be scarily disappointed. Wait, was right. there anybody like big stars? Anyone we know that's in that? Absolutely not. Oh, that's so it. Was trash. It was by Blumhouse. So once I seen Blumhouse, you know Blumhouse be making some scary shit sometimes. It was a complete fucking letdown, bro. Please do not watch that fucking movie. Oh, this shit is trash, trash. Man. So go ahead. You was on Instagram. What you bought? That was trash. I bought the uh, like a sneaker thing to put the sneakers in. It was about, supposed to be like a like a rack. Yeah. I was like, I right, bet. And I bought it, and that shit was mad, flimsy, and bullshit. I was tight. Man, like something you buy a telco. Yeah, like you get out of like D2 or some shit. And I bought two of them trying to be slick. Man. They gank me. If you get two, you know, old people, we they used to catch you half off. on TV. They catching niggas now like me on Instagram. <laughs> you got two for 80? Bad. Mm -hmm. Nah, you they called anything? me two on that shit. What they caught you with? The other day, they had like this little thing that you could just put it on the, on the clothes and you could put like small, but it like leaves the mark on it. So I was like, damn, they want $19 for this shit? This shit look all right. <laughs> but what was it exactly? 
It's like a little machine, but you could put like like, like a, a label machine. Oh, I seen that. Seen it, I was right? gonna buy that. I, so I said, I said, damn, nineteen dollars, yo, this shit is all right, yo. I could use this shit for mad shit, you know, for like the plastic, the yeah, yeah, small, facts. whatever. So I said, fuck it, it's only nineteen dollars. I, you know, what I mean, I buy it. So as soon as I put my information, I filled it out. Ah, they charged me the nineteen ninety nine. Two minutes past, my bank is calling me. I said, oh, I said, what the fuck? Yeah, what's up? They was like, uh, yeah, did you make a purchase for eighty nine ninety nine? I said, nah, I ain't make no. Damn. Nah. Yo, I had to close my card. I ain't have my really. Phone. Yeah, they was like, yo, you want? We can send it in the mail. I said, nah. It's but that was the real more. price was seventy nine ninety nine. Nah, the real price was one hundred and twenty, but they had it <laughs> off. Uh, they had it. Uh, they had it on sale for nineteen ninety nine. So when I bought it for nineteen ninety nine, they try to like get my debit card information and say yeah. it was They can get the whole shit? Yeah, they get the whole shit. Oh, matter of fact, that makes me realize I bought this shit on TikTok, it never came. <laughs> they charged me, this shit, this shit was called the leaf plate. So basically it looked like a leaf, you throw it on your license plate and it sticks and it covers your num one of the numbers so it looks like just a leaf blew on your yeah, shit. Yeah, I've seen that before. It stays and then, yeah, the and then when you camera. when you do the camera lights that give you the tickets, they can't tell your license plate. So it looks oh, like a leaf clever. stuck on My it. My wife needs it. Yo, I bought two of them. That's what made me realize it. I bought two of them. Chico DeBarge. We ain't filming. Don't worry about it. Say hi to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Say hi to everybody in the camera. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I bought it. I bought two of them. That shit never came. Then it just so if you it. see that on it, leafy plate or leaf plate, the shit is trash. Do not buy that shit. Nah, but they couldn't even get it. it. I didn't buy it, yeah. It's nah, super trash. I bought it. I'm waiting for the shit in the mail because they took that $20. They took that $20 out. Yeah, they I, took my money too. That's why I said, I said, you know what? If I'm going to get beat, it's only a dub. Hey, when I yo, see the 89. Uh -huh. nah. Hey, you got beat for a dub, I'm going to go there. It's not I even, seen the 8999. I said, hold up, I hold. What, what about you, Boykin? You got TikTok let down? Yeah, absolutely. I ordered this. Uh, so you know how in the new cars you got the Apple Play, right? Apple yeah. Play car, Apple Play. So you plug in your phone. They have this adapter, which is super dope. It goes into like all your apps. You can play Netflix, and you can play like YouTube videos and shit. Obviously not safe. You use you you know use it when you're not driving, right? But anyway, uh, I put that in and. I connect it and all this other shit, it comes up, it says you need to connect to Wi-Fi. They don't tell you that this doesn't work without Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. So now you gotta pay and buy Wi-Fi in your car to use it. That's so it's crazy. not it's not like a mirroring situation, you know what I mean? Like, wow. So they gassed you, yeah. So don't get that. Is, how much is Wi-Fi in the car? Uh, I don't know. I think it, do you know how much Wi-Fi is in the car? Like 30 bucks? Who the fuck the gets Wi-Fi in their car? Well, that's bro. what I'm saying. That's it's why I don't fall, think. Don't you pay for that shit that X X, what that shit is? That's Sirius, Sirius XM. XM, but that's, that's not Wi-Fi, wi yeah. Oh. That's satellite. Yeah, fact. But basically, yeah, I got all this. <laughs> but if I got it's all satellite, this shit that shit don't get no, Wi-Fi. No. Nah, it's satellite radio. It's not. <laughs> it's not satellite for your car, bro. So you can't even use it satellite unless you have Wi-Fi. So. Yeah, okay. fact. Don't get caught out there. Where they say Wi-Fi come from? What? You can add a Wi-Fi in your where car. Where it come from? I don't fucking know. Satellite. What? Wi-Fi? From your car. <laughs> towers. Wi-Fi towers. Don't they say they come from a satellite, right? That's what they say, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, yeah. Nah, because y'all saying, what's the, uh, uh, when I said, what's that, the no, is radio it shit? Wi-Fi, oh, nah, that's wi -Fi from a satellite. Under... So where the fuck Wi-Fi come from? That shit just No, Wi-Fi is in the ocean. They have the, you know that Wi-Fi goes under? It goes through the ocean. Does it? Yes, Bible. Look it up. It's like these little, like tunnel, like I don't know, like little tunnels that they put the wires. The Wi-Fi is underground in the water in the ocean. Look it up. It's not up here. It's not in towers. Wi-Fi is. Not the not the wire that they blew up, like the, the um the shit that happened in Yemen when they cut the wire off that runs the electricity. You might have to look that up. Cause... No, no, no. The Wi-Fi runs underground in the water. I seen a video ocean. on some shit like that too. Busy, look it up for me, please. Thank you. Now, before we get out, I forgot last episode, we do Coney Islanders of the week. You know what I'm saying? You mean an artist? The Coney Island artist of the week. You know what I'm saying? And my artist this week is my boy Banger. You know what I'm saying? Look him up. I fuck with Banger. Matter of fact, I'm gonna look him up. I'm gonna look him up his gram right now because he's a solid individual. His music is dope. Beastie Boy Banger 23. B-A, Beastie Boy 
B-A-N-G-A 23. You know what I'm saying? Look them up. Solid, dope music. All of that, bro. So right. we ain't playing music no more because that shit be deading out the fucking you, YouTube. Be flagging this shit. Yeah, but yeah, shout right. out to Banger. You know what I'm saying? Now, movie of the week. Let's get into that. Boom, 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 boom. I've now, been, uh, me first? Whatever you want to do, bro. It's your world. I watched uh, Shane Gillis' stand-up com comedy special on Shane Netflix. Shane Gillis is fire. And I ain't even know. I seen him live at the Chappelle comedy shit, and uh, he was funny there, but this comedy special, Bro, he had me cracking up. That's a good, that's a good uh, movie right there. Shane Gillis is funny as hell. Yeah, that's my movie of the week. It's not a movie, but all right. It's a movie. All right, go ahead. I haven't seen any new movies, but I'm just gonna bring it back to my favorite movie that I can just put on. It, it could just be like background noise. Is Billy Madison, Adam Sandler, hilarious. I love I all doing, Adam Sandler. Doing all happy. One. No, they're doing a new uh, Happy Gilmore. Oh, Happy Gilmore. But anyway, any Happy Madison production film is my shit. I love Adam Sandler. All these shits I, is not fire, though. No, not all five. Old, old. Billy Madison, Waterboy, like the older shit. The older we Adam saw the fucking uh, image. The San Diego <laughs> Chargers game with Shooter McGavin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. But Adam Sandler, he's one of my favorites. I love yeah, him. I, fuck with Adam I love having my Adam Sandler fits when I'm not on the pod. I'd be looking like him up. with the basketball shorts and the hoodie. I love a good Adam Sandler fit. Yo, what movie you got? I ain't even watched no movies, man, because they had college basketball. Yeah, I was watching that too, though. I watched college Wait, can we talk about the women? Hold up, can I talk about my motherfucking movie? Go yeah, ahead, what's your movie? Right. Image? This ain't no fucking sports podcast. <laughs> Fuck the women's basketball. Yo. Fuck that eagle looking bitch. What's her name? Fucking. Caitlin Clark? Yeah, that bitch is trash. She has literally nah, changed she's the nice. game. She's nice, bro. She changed right, the listen, game. Listen, my and movie broke of the week. <laughs> Image. <laughs> my, my movie of the 4. week. 4.3 million. Roadhouse. The, the new, new one? one? Oh. Fire. The new fire. one. Fire. Fire. I ain't watching it. I don't it's know about fire. It's on Amazon Prime. Damn, I ain't got it. It got, got mad that. UFC fight. <laughs> it got mad UFC. No, it got Conor McGregor in it. Um, oh, that shit definitely trash. Nah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yo, listen. <laughs> no, he it was did good. A, um, it was okay. He did. He played a villain, he, obviously. He did a great job. Yeah. And look, that movie kept me entertained from the moment it started to the end. That's what. But that's all I need. The acting was good. I didn't mind it. The plot wasn't bad at all. Yeah. It was a good movie. Was For a vegan, listen, if you're a vegan, lesbian bike rider whose girlfriend abuses her. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. Yo, that never, I'm not that a victim. Brings, fuck out of here. That never brings weed to the Yo, table. Yo, she did that. Yeah. Yeah. What up, what up? You might not Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You are a victim. You know? First off, I was excited was for like Roadhouse. Yo, what up? victim, though, a little bit today. No, I wasn't playing victim. I'm just talking to the victim. Yo, what are you that standing up for, bro? Because I was about to dip. Holy shit. I was about to dip. She walked right here and walked back. I wanted to scare you a little bit. That's like a little kid. I'm running away. I'm running away. Come catch me. Yo. But what they, what, she broke your dishes and shit? Listen, glass everywhere. But wait, before we get back into that, because I'm traumatized, I wanted to tell you a funny story. Give me one second about Roadhouse. The Roadhouse premiere, this guy um, was saying that he went to the bathroom and Jake Gyllenhaal was in the bathroom and he was behind him, he was taking a piss and he's washing his hands and he sees in the mirror, he sees Jake Gyllenhaal just literally crazy, rip a crazy line. And the guy looks at him and Jake's like, you could tell anybody, no one's gonna believe you. <laughs> that's <laughs> like, yo, but that's fire. true. Like, I mean, if he goes back out there, like, yo, Jake Jones, he was just in there ripping a line, crazy line. He was just like, I don't care. He's like, you can say what you want. No one's gonna believe you. you. <laughs> I don't know. That, that, that is gangsta. Oh, that is gangsta. That's He's gangsta, literally... but I would have believed him. If you would have came out the bathroom and said, yo, But what can you do anyway? Oh, you were doing Who gives a fuck? Nah, that's what I mean. I just yeah, said, yeah, I don't put it past fuck. them. They all like blow. That yeah. might be the yeah, guy. Oh, yeah. look. Say what's up to my boy. Oh! oh. Come here, make an appearance. <laughs> Say hello. Mario. What's it, Mario? What's it, Mario? Mario. 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 Damn, we don't got the mic. Well, once again, Busy just fucking leaves. Oh, what's man. Up, Mario? Yo, Mario, oh, what's God. up, bro? How are you? Mario. I like your fucking hair. Oh, where's look Luigi? Look at that fucking dude. Look at the huh? fucking hair. What? Nah, that's nah, the smaller Pee Wee Herman version. Good, just like that. Like Pee Wee? Nah, that looks good like that. Great episode, bro. Yo, yo, go check out the Mario Bosco show. I'm on the latest episode, episode two. You know what I'm saying? Work it when that, on that episode was the best. We're gonna be doing more. Don't worry. I love it, bro. Mario, I'll see you later.
Yeah, yeah you got street cred out here Everybody in Coney Island. Goes. Yeah, you good to go. How we doing? Yes. There we go. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Oh, listen. Now, you got a fucking useless fact? Yeah, I got a useless fact. Since we on sanitation, since that's my last day, you got a better shot of getting into Harvard on a full scholarship Lavish. than you do getting into sanitation and getting hired by them. And that's a fact. That's a fact? That's a fact. So basically, you didn't come prepared. No, that's my useless fact. I put it in my phone. I'm, I'm prepared, that's bro. That's a horrible fact. That's a fact, though. It's useless. It's useless, my nigga. Who else cares? <laughs> Nobody cares. What else you want? You want me to this do This guy's going down, bro. Oh, my oh. God. Yo. <laughs> Slippery slope. Yo, hype beast. What's up? What's up? What we got this week? What we got this week? We got the Supreme and Margella collab. I don't know if you saw, but they have this wallet that's made out of the outside. It looks like some ghetto shit. It's like a receipt from Supreme. On the outside, it's a wallet with like a almost like a hair tie around it. Nah. You know how like Balenciaga is doing how like do a I bag of chips? No, I got a better hype beast shit for you. What's that? The Balenciaga fucking roll of tape as a bracelet. Oh my god, that's terrible. Wow. Yeah. All the Balenciaga shit that they be putting on the if bag I of seen, chips and if I seen somebody wearing that, I would never touch any of that's four thousand dollars they want for that. What for that tape? It's like a roll of electrical tape that's clear. So instead of seeing clear, scotch yeah. through the bottom, it says Balenciaga adhesive tape. And it's the people, same as the thing you people just... People getting just nice and putting like, <coughs> a roll of tape you on? Know, you know what? You know what it's starting to remind me of? I can't imagine like, somebody wearing that shit. You know what it's, nah, what it's starting to remind me of? It's like, remember that old uh, got some store? some out there. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm talking. Um, so there's a store... <laughs> <laughs> fuck, you guys do this to you all day. There's a store called Spencer's in the mall. You remember the old yeah, store yeah. with all like little gid gidgets and like the funny shit? It's like Balenciaga is doing the same exact thing, but putting it 4K as the price. Yeah, like nah. corny, corny like shit that like is like it's supposed to be one thing, but it's another. Yeah, I don't know. Facts. It's they some suckers out, 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 that 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 some that out there that's going to buy. Yeah, they're out of control. Some Leos. Yeah, I'm I mean, not. people have so much money and, and the cloud chases. It's mad cloudy out here. People hype beast. Hype shit. beast going to have it on. Not, not a hype beast. I would not have that on. If somebody gave you two of them here as a gift, you want to take it and rock it? I would rock it on the podcast and never wear it again just to be like, I have yeah, it. Yeah, right in the middle of my motherfucking. Sell them uh, shit. And then sell them. Sell them. Sell them. Sell them. What are you, so I'm not doing a podcast here? Come on, man. Mario, you got to relax. <laughs> Yo, listen. Man. Mario, you got to relax. Every, everybody is. So the Supreme Margella collab, that's a fire drop. Uh, it's a little different. I like a few things on there, but my favorite drop right now is by Bravest Studios. You heard of Bravest? They got the bear claw slides. Oh, they just got them trash. in white. No, the brown ones are fire. My friend Claire, shout out to my bestie. She had them in LA first before, no, every, before anybody. I tried them on, I love them. Those shits is true. I would wear them right now if I had them. But Yo. Maybe next episode. Bro, I fuck they're, with they're, Bravis. They're in Brooklyn, they're in Brooklyn based. Bravis, I got their shorts with the skulls and yeah, shit yeah. like that. Yeah, they're awesome. Brooklyn based. But you don't like the slides, those, the bear slides. Those, those are not slides. Those are fucking crocs Slippers. that they just fucking like, put fur on. Yeah. It looks like a bear's foot. I love it. Shit is mad stupid. Fire. <laughs> I'm gonna wear, like I'm gonna wear them yeah, next week, she actually. Says fire. She fire. You next time you see me, oh, that's what they like. like I see somebody with like claws. Fire. Yeah, it's like brown like, furry and has like the claws. There's different colors of that. Yeah, shit? I think they I got them in white, pink. but I don't like I them in white. In pink. No, no, you didn't see them in pink. Like, I seen somebody with some shit with. Well, they were fake. Claws on the mall. They were fake. <laughs> Yo, listen. All that shit is fake. Nems gems of the week. Yeah. Water seeks its own level. You heard? So if you ever, if you, if you see somebody. Like, damn, they, their girlfriend is fucking crazy. Or their boyfriend is crazy. Just know that they're about that same level of crazy because water seeks its own level, bro. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, you're going to attract what you are. It's fact. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to level up. So if you look at your boyfriend or girlfriend like, this guy's a loser, chances are you're a fucking loser too. Because <laughs> water seeks its own level. Yeah. And I ain't never heard somebody hate, comment on a post, with some sucker shit that's doing better than me. You know what I'm saying? The haters are doing worse than you. Straight up, nobody Biggest that's ever fans. doing success, nobody ever doing well in life has time to fucking comment on shit, hating or 
just hate on other people. They're too or, busy or doing their own thing. Or try to get somebody else fired. Like, mind your business, stay in your lane. What about what about people that you feel like copy your swag, whether it's like things that you say or things that you do, podcasts and whatnot? Do you take that like podcasts? Fucking. You, you take that uh, like a form of flattery, or you not at fucking all. hate that shit? I don't like it, but you <coughs> know what? You gotta realize that when you do innovative shit, and you do, and you put take time to to go the extra mile to put in extra work and do some shit that nobody else is doing, there's always gonna be lazy motherfuckers out there that just copy your shit. There's always going to be uncreative motherfuckers that's going to copy your shit. Yeah, but one facts. thing they can't do is I could come up with creative shit and do the keep next creating. level shit all the time. I could keep doing it. Keep yeah. creating, facts. They can't. Yeah. Once they steal, it's like, all right, we now both what? know you stole. We, I know you stole. You know you stole. And that's it. Simple as that. I could always come up with fly shit. Yeah. Un unimaginative people can't do that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So. Yeah, facts. It is what it is. We should be good on time right here. Yeah, yeah we're good on time. Yo, listen. Patreon.com slash Gorilla Nims. We're going to start doing Inside with Gorilla Nims as well. And that's going to be exclusive on the Patreon until we get a deal for it. And uh, you got any last words? Nah, you get skipped. You didn't do a good job. <laughs> Yo, we, uh, non-weed giver. Non-weed giver. Speaking of weed giver and non-weed giver, 419, the day before 420, I am hosting a black tie gala charity auction. So there's going to be art that's going to be sold off for charity. And we're going to have some speakers there. We're going to be bringing uh, awareness to the Last Prisoner Project. There's people that are still in prison doing 30 years for a 20 bag. And... We have weed legal. We're smoking weed for outside. A bag. For a for 20 bag. For a 20 bag. A 20 twin twin. Man. Anyway, <laughs> follow me at CB Life underscore FYL. You'll see Yo. I'm gonna post that event and come, come, you know, donate and let's let's do something about Yo, this. Yo, you she ever she ever lit you up? She ever sparked you up on a blunt? I'm not even gonna look at him. He don't even smoke backwards. Because he don't, smoke backwards. He he don't nah. smoke backwards. Yeah, but she lit when we went when we when we went to see EJ fight. Remember me Thank and her you. was in the back of the truck? Thank you. And she said, nah, Nims, we don't want nobody smoking this car. I was like, what? And then I had a whole blunt rolled and I passed it to you and what you said? Yeah, I took two pulls and Except. I said, nah, I don't really like the, the All wood. All right, there you go. There you go. All right. I just don't like sharing with Paz. Nah, but yeah. I like, I, I, apparently. You know I mean? I'm kidding. Yeah, right? Everybody else says she's fucking lighting them nah, up. Nah, plus when we went to her thing, she gave us like a little, uh, little, that don't count. But they, they, they <laughs> forget, forget about that. That shit don't even have the weed in it. <laughs> the lost can of gift bags are. Yeah, that shit had the empty one that weed. you gotta put yeah. the weed in. Ah. It never got weed in it. That's a lie. That's she a kept lie. every every pre roll. Yo, <laughs> patreoncom slash M. Go buy some fucking merch. FYF.NYC. Or pull up to the store, man. We outside all summer as usual. Shout out New York life. Strongest. Shout out New York Strongest. The fire department. Paz did horrible this episode. <laughs> Fuck out of here. The fire department. Oh. And we all this BX. Damn, what I did with that fire. Don't ever disrespect. Oh. Ever, 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 ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect. Ever, ever, ever disrespect me. Pussy, don't ever disrespect me, you heard?